Hello everyone, welcome to my art garden. I'm your gardener, Grace. Today I want to introduce a very special artist. Jay Cho? No. In fact, who I want to introduce is the artist who painted the background works of Jay Cho. An influential African-American artist, Jean-Michel Basquiat. Why did Jay Cho appear in the photo? In June 2021, Jay Cho, as a legend and art collector in the music industry, curated a contemporary art auction. Among them is a triple screen work entitled created by Jean-Michel Basquiat in 1985 and appeared on the cover of the New York Times magazine in the same year. This is why Jay Cho has the honor to reproduce such a photo. Recalling that year Basquiat sat here to take a picture, full of spirits, this untitled has also become a symbol of his status in the art world. This tripartite screen composed of wooden panels, the artist juxtaposes three elements in this work, the iconic black warrior of Basquiat, the brave incarnation of the jaguar and Aztec legend, and the King Don Quixote, knight character. In this way, Basquiat contrasts the primitive and ferocious elements of African, Central American visual culture with traditional European chivalry. To put it simple, Basquiat's life is short but remarkable. In 1960, he was born in a middle-class family in Brooklyn, New York. From an early age, he showed his talent for art and learned to paint with the encouragement of his mother and teacher. When he was five years old, his mother began to take him to visit major museums in New York. MoMA, Brooklyn Museum, and Metropolitan Museum of Art, and so on. These insights made him fascinated by art. In 1968, eight-year-old Basquiat was injured by a car while playing football. He stayed in the hospital for a whole month. During his recovery, his mother gave him a famous textbook, Grey's Anatomy. He was deeply influenced by the anatomical drawings on the books, and some parts of the human body often appeared in his later works. As he grew older, Basquiat, who was in a superior family, did not fall in love with school. Rather, he became rebellious and obsessed with the American street culture. At the age of 15, he ran away from home, wandered in Washington Square, and lived in a cardboard box on the street. Basquiat started taking drugs when he stayed away all night. In 1976, the 16-year-old Basquiat dropped out of school and was kicked out of the house by his father. Since then, he had lived in a friend's old house, relying on selling t-shirts and handmade posters for a living. From this time, he and his friends created graffiti works on the walls of Manhattan. His graffiti works contain a lot of content, satirical words, various symbols, and will eventually be sprayed with the signature Samo. Samo is short for same old shit, which means old stinky shit. The crown or Samo, these later became his iconic symbols. Soon, Keith Haring began to notice the originality of the Basquiat's work and became his first admirer. Once, Basquiat passed a restaurant on the streets of New York, and he recognized Andy Warhol sitting by the window. He walked into the restaurant alone and convinced Andy to buy two postcards. This was the first conversation between them in his life. What does this mean? Have the courage to sell yourself? With the rise of the new wave of American art, people in the art circle began to recognize and love the works of this young artist. What is the new wave of American art? Break the conventional boundaries from prop art to graffiti culture, art is more into life, a trend of popular entertainment. After Basquiat met Andy Warhol in 1980, they became friends with each other. As his life mentor, Andy Warhol introduced him to many friends in the art circle. Warhol's celebrity status also helped Basquiat gain a lot of popularity and exposure. Here I want to advertise for Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol is known for one of the most famous figures in the art world of 20th century, an advocate and leader of the pop art, and an artist with the greatest influence on pop art. With the little spoiler, we will also have a new video introducing Andy Warhol. The two-year period from 1981 to 1982 was Basquiat's high production period. In art, he was self-taught, but he was often found inspirations in art history and art museums. In the paintings, it was not difficult to see the influence of Picasso, Twombly, Bacon, and others. During this period, he painted at least 500 pictures. At this time, he was only 22 years old. 
in 1985 as a highlight of Basquiat, he appeared on the cover of the New York Times Magazine, which is the photo we mentioned at the beginning. He is the only black artist to be on the cover of this magazine. Overnight, Basquiat became rich and became princely existence, and even dated Madonna for a while. In September 1985, Basquiat and Andy Warhol jointly created a two-person exhibition and exhibited 60 works, but unfortunately, the media has mostly negative comments on this exhibition. This also greatly affected the relationship between the two artists. They soon stopped co-creating and became more and more alienated. After that, the young and energetic Basquiat even left New York for Los Angeles and never communicated with Andy Warhol again. In February 1987, Andy Warhol passed away unexpectedly. The departure of the hit mentor caused a great blow to Basquiat. The sensitive and fragile psychological mind of a young artist, the diminished attention of the art circle, the doubts about his own abilities, and the memory of Andy after his death all make him, him his life and emotions fell into a state of being unable to take care of himself. And Basquiat increasingly relied on drugs to resist his inner anxiety. In August 1988, Basquiat died of excessive drug use in his smart apartment at the age of 28, drawing the end of a splendid short life. Looking back at Basquiat's work, you'll be moved by the expressiveness in his work. His work originated from graffiti art, but he put the graffiti on canvas. Looking at the recurring skeletons, crosses, huge teeth, distorted expressions, milk, halo, and crowns in his paintings, they all have an indicative meaning. There are many metaphors regardless of the source of the characters and paintings. From his idol boxing champion Ali to the jazz musician Charlie Parker, he has become a prophet, a ghost, and a hero in his writing. Those human skeletons are the divergence and reference of Leonardo's anatomical paintings. The seemingly weird characters are illusions from myths and symbolic poems. The themes and techniques of those paintings are based on politics, society, and race of the era he was in. Thinking about propositions such as religion and death, he really combined history with the present, learned a lot of knowledge, and created a completely set of his own styles of play. This makes his work universal in art. You don't need words and words to convey information. After 40 years, the style still is obvious. One of Basquiat's work that I like very much is the Battle of Medici. This work was completed in 1982, but young Basquiat has just finished his trip to Italy. In his work as a rookie in the art world, he aggressively challenged the mainstream of Western art, crowned himself, and as an heir, he was on the throne of art cast by Italian Renaissance masters. The Italian Renaissance gave birth to many artists with extraordinary achievements and masterpieces that have been handed down for the generations. During this period, with the help and encouragement from the Medici family, Florence became the birthplace and center of the European Renaissance. With great achievements in poetry, painting, sculpture, architecture, and music. Therefore, in a sense, the Medici family is a stand-in for the traditional and authoritative art world. In Basquiat's work, you can find complex anatomical drawings similar to those in Leonardo's early sketches. He also used three canvases to piece together a tri-tech screen structure similar to the Renaissance altarpiece. In this way, Basquiat declared war on traditional images in Western visual culture. Like all great artists, he proficiently used the conventions handed down from the art history in his works, and then breaks them one by one. Basquiat used the Greek word alokex to fully express the powerful position of coronation. Alokex may refer to the idealized king, the Greek name of the Egyptian pharaoh Amatak, or it may refer to apotheosis, that is, the ascension of human beings to the gods. Regardless of the explanation, Basquiat positioned his fierce Portia as a representative of the divine will. Coupled with the symbol of the crown, the Portia represented by the painting is undoubtedly the revenge hero in art history. Here, have you already felt the charm of Basquiat's work? From the end of the 19th century, with the emergence of photography technology, the art of painting is no longer pursues painting images, but must reflect the artist's mental consciousness, spiritual world, and his own values. Basquiat tried his best to break the framework of white supremacy and elitism in American tradition in his own works. At the same time, as the most 
successful minority artists of African descent, racial discrimination in American society is still unavoidable. So there is no lack of accusations against this social phenomenon in his paintings. There are very clear and common language in his works, so that the audience can understand what he wants to express. Good works will not be incomprehensible due to the differences in culture. He has his own artistic language, that is, his own symbols and his own style, to let people know that this is the work of this artist at your first glance. Foscow said more than once, I'm not a black artist, I am an artist. If you like my channel, please make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to ring the notification bell so you can check on my latest videos. Thank you.